All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about developer tools, all right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go into Firefox, okay, developer edition, and let's right click here and click on inspect element, okay? Now you're gonna notice that there's all these tools and some of them I talked about in the previous video where we were talking about features. So what I want you to do is go up to the address bar and let's go to google.com, okay? And now we're going to use these developer tools as an example, I'll show you an example on how we can um, utilize these tools for a web page, okay? So this is just an example. Um, and so you have right here the element selection tool. And basically what that does is I can go anywhere on a web page on any web page on the web, and I can go here and I can select an element. So for this example, I would be grabbing the anchor element here, and I could go in and I could edit the CSS here. I can also edit the code here, okay? And I can see where it is, and then I can work around it and build out the website and see how they've been doing it, okay? So once you select it, then it gives you the inspector. So the DOM and style inspector, okay? So this will allow you to go through any website on the web and you can expect inspect their code, okay? Then we have the console, which is designed for JavaScript. Now, when we get to the JavaScript section of the course, we're gonna be using this in the web browser to do some tests and to learn the fundamentals of JavaScript. So I'm excited to show you that and work with you on that. Then we have the debugger. So the debugger allows you to debug code inside of your web browser. We're not gonna be utilizing this as much. We're gonna mostly do our debugging through the text editor and through the inspector. That's really where we're gonna be doing our debugging. Networking is more of a backend situation which we're not gonna be covering in this course. Then you have the style editor. So the cool thing about this is I can click on this little plus sign here and I can type in the following, and you don't have to do this. We'll do body and we'll do curly brackets and then I'm gonna type in background and we'll do pink. And you're gonna see something happen. The background will turn pink, okay? And it will also give me the ability to save this file on my computer and then I can integrate this into our projects and other things if I wanted to. Now, I'm not gonna do that for this example but I just wanted to show you how cool of a tool that is where you can literally write out CSS in the browser and then save the file and you can see the changes as you're doing them, which is really cool, okay? Performance. Again, this is more of a back-end thing with the networking part, so we're not gonna be covering this that much. Memory, same thing. Storage, same thing, it's more of a back-end thing. And then accessibility, same deal, and then application, okay? Now let's talk about the responsive design mode. So when I click on this, little icon here where it's like a little smartphone and then a tablet when I click on that it turns the browser into responsive mode and basically what I can do is I can adjust this by device size or I can edit the list and I can add a custom I can add more devices here so for example let's say we wanted a uh, laptop okay I can add that in there and then I can click here and grab the laptop now I can see what my website would look like on a laptop with this resolution of 1280 by 950. Okay, so why is resolution extremely important? Well, being someone who is a video guru myself, I absolutely love video and I'm a video engineer by trade before anything else, resolution is extremely important because with responsive web development, you have multiple sizes. So you have uh, smartphones or mobile devices, you have tablets, and then you have a laptop, and then a desktop. So you have four different devices with completely different resolutions. So the question is, how do you work with each one of those? So in the CSS section of the course, we're gonna talk about a popular term called media queries. And basically what that does is it has a breaking point for each uh, resolution size, which will cover each one of the resolutions. So it'll cover mobile devices, uh, tablets, laptops, and then desktops, okay? So it'll cover all those, and really you only need four breaking points to get to that point, okay? 
So if I right click again here, if it lets me, okay, let's right click and inspect the element again. And I'll show you the other tools that they have. So they have the inspector, which we talked about. So all of these tools we just talked about, right? We also talked about the responsive design mode. They also have eyedropper. So eyedropper gives you the ability to go on a web page and drop the eyedropper to retrieve the hex code or the RGB code for that color, okay? So I've copied this color, now I have that color and I can use that on my website, okay? Then they have a page source, which will show you the code of the web page that you're on. So you can look at their source code and see what they did. Now this is all JavaScript, so it's all gibberish and it's condensed down. So it's really hard to look at, but other websites you could, you know, go in there and take a look at it, depending on what it is. Um, remote debugging, we have browser console, okay. Get more tools. So with this, you can grab more tools on here, which we're not gonna do right now. We're just gonna utilize the tools that we have um, through Firefox, but later on in the course, if we need them, we will. this is where we will go to get more tools for different aspects of front-end web development, okay? So like I said, Firefox Developer Edition is one of the key tools to web development because what it, it's a modern mm -hmm. web browser and a lot of the new technologies out there like CSS3 animation and HTML5 uh, Canvas and other things like that will work inside this browser, okay? The other thing is everything will work through this browser, so this is a good starting point to work off of and then work back to disabling features on other browsers, okay? So that is the Firefox Developer Edition uh, developer tools. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.